Esteemed viewers, welcome to part one of our two-part series entitled Water, a precious resource for life on Earth. Every year, on the 22nd of March, the world comes together to help create water awareness. Everyone, from our world leaders to children in primary schools, join the fight against the abuse, pollution, and over-exploitation of our precious water resources. Dok jedni pretjerano iskorištavaju naše vodene resurse, drugi nemaju ni osnovni pristup vodi. I tamo niko stanje, no la šare dietro resursu, che ci ricorda che stiamo condividendo il pianeta con persone che sono state emarginate ed ignorate e che è nostra responsabilità garantire che non vengano dimenticate. Na mundo, na cada dos minutos, un menino da mori pa vedere come e bibi ya con suso. Hay 25 millones de refugiados en el mundo. Generalmente, los campos de refugiados no pueden asegurar los 20 litros de agua potable necesarios por persona. Desde 2030, más de 700 millones de personas que viven en el mundo se van a ver afectadas por la falta de agua. Nosotros no solo empezamos desde la tierra, sino que en muchos lugares nos han sido afectados por la falta de agua. Si se ha sido afectado, es muy difícil. On today's program, we'll explore some of the reasons water is becoming an increasingly precious natural resource. Understanding the problem of fresh water begins with understanding how little of it is actually available. Although 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, almost all of it is salt water found in the oceans. Only about 2.5% of the world's water is fresh water, and most of this is not available as it is trapped in glaciers, polar ice caps, or water vapor. As a result, only 0.007% of the planet's water is available to fuel and feed its more than 7.8 billion people. Fresh water is the resource that all of us must share to meet many of our daily needs. We need fresh water for drinking, cooking, personal hygiene, and operating our sanitation systems. We also use fresh water for raising animals, irrigating crops, and manufacturing. Even today, fresh water is scarce. According to the World Wildlife Fund, or WWF, approximately 1.1 billion people on Earth lack ready access to water, and 2.7 billion experience water scarcity at least one month a year. Water is critical for personal hygiene. Currently, 2.4 billion people in the world suffer from inadequate sanitation. This, in turn, can lead to deadly diarrheal diseases, including cholera and typhoid fever and other waterborne illnesses. According to the United Nations International Children's Fund, UNICEF, Water and sanitation-related diseases are among the leading causes of death for children under five years old. And two million people, mostly children, die each year from diarrheal diseases alone. Why do we currently have a water shortage? There are several reasons. First, over the past 100 years, the Earth's population has grown rapidly. In 1918, the world population was estimated to be approximately 1.8 billion people. By 2020, the population had soared to 7.8 billion people. In addition, 
as technological advancements and wealth increase, the demand for fresh water has risen much faster than the growth in population. According to the United Nations, the average person now uses twice the amount of water per day than was used a century ago. However, far more serious than our growing population and increasing per capita demand is the greatest threat of all, climate change. As a result of rising global temperatures, rivers, lakes, and aquifers are either drying up or becoming too polluted to use. The situation has become so critical that the UN estimates if we do not halt climate change by 2050, more than two-thirds of the world's population will be living in water-stressed regions. How does climate change lead to freshwater scarcity? Many factors are involved. We'll have a look at some of them after this brief message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Eco-conscious viewers, welcome back to our program as we learn why climate change is the primary cause of the world's ever-diminishing supply of fresh water. First of all, as global temperatures rise, the water cycle changes drastically. Warmer temperatures lead to much faster evaporation from Earth's surface. This means Soils and crops dry out more quickly, making the land more susceptible to sustained droughts and causing lakes, rivers, and wetlands to dry up. In addition, warm air can hold more water vapor than cool air. And surprisingly, water vapor is a type of greenhouse gas, as it also traps heat around the Earth's surface. Thus, higher amounts of water vapor in the air drive temperatures even higher, and an extremely dangerous climate change feedback loop is created. The increased amount of water vapor in the atmosphere then leads to more volatile weather events such as excessively heavy rainfall and hurricanes. Although it seems counterintuitive, big storms with massive amounts of rainfall actually intensify water scarcity. When too much water falls quickly, the land cannot absorb it and most of it simply runs up into the waterways and ocean, while the soil and underground aquifers remain unreplenished. Thus, water scarcity increases. These heavy storms create yet another problem. Extremely heavy rainfall can cause flooding with possible infrastructure damage to dams and other water systems. And the rapid runoff of flood waters contaminates and pollutes the waterways. Both of these phenomena further worsen water scarcity. Over the past decade, as Earth's temperature has continued to rise, many areas are experiencing longer and longer droughts. For example, both Australia and the western USA, especially California, have suffered through several years of sustained droughts. As a result, forests have become tinder dry, leading to bigger and more intense fires. Vast areas of forest land in both California and Australia were destroyed during 2019 and 2020. Forest fires create yet another feedback loop for both climate change and water scarcity. As the trees burn, they emit CO2, which contributes even more to climate change while the lack of ground cover means water will run off quickly without refreshing the soil or aquifers. And so, as forests burn, both climate change and water scarcity worsen. The potential consequences of freshwater scarcity are enormous. One serious problem is decreased sanitation. 
Even today, in many parts of the world, inadequate sanitation is a serious health threat. Water, the key to life, is also a bringer of death. Globally, each day, almost 1,000 children under five die from diarrhea caused by contaminated water. More than 2.4 billion people, a third of all humanity, have no access to sanitation. And as populations grow, water becomes a new source of danger, of conflict, given the rapid urban expansion of Latin America, Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, as climate change continues, we'll see more extreme and frequent droughts, floods and typhoons. Again, people in developing countries will be hardest hit by waterborne disasters. As clean, drinkable fresh water becomes increasingly scarce, we must carefully examine how it is used. By far, the largest consumer is agriculture, which uses a whopping 70% of the world's fresh water, much of which is consumed in raising more than 70 billion farm animals each year for food. Vast amounts of water are required to raise, clean and slaughter these animals and to irrigate the crops they eat. Moreover, raising animals for food, as we will learn in the next episode, is a highly inefficient use of our precious fresh water. The United Nations reports that there is enough fresh water on Earth to sustain today's population. But we experience shortages because they say it is distributed unevenly and too much of it is wasted, polluted and unsustainably managed. Similarly, a recent World Water Vision report stated there is a water crisis today. But the crisis is not about having too little water to satisfy our needs. It is a crisis of managing water so badly that billions of people and the environment suffer badly. Supreme Master Ching Hai frequently expresses concern about our ever-increasing global water shortage and recommends the fastest and most efficient solution to this critical problem is adoption of the organic vegan lifestyle. Water scarcity is a serious problem because without enough water, we cannot grow food. The World Economic Forum estimates that if we continue with current trends, two-thirds of the world will be water-stressed, I mean shorter water, by 2030, just over a decade. Huh? And Mexico is certainly one of the places to be affected. But 70% of all water used by humans goes to agriculture, especially livestock agriculture, livestock raising. So the best place to conserve water is through food, manageable food, sustainable food not animal food. And the best way to feed more people with less water is also through food. Sustainable food practices, sustainable agriculture, organic vegan agriculture. So we all should go vegan. And the best is organic vegan. Eco-conscious viewers, thank you for your company today. 